Hi, I'm Alice, and welcome to a day in my life as an online UBC Geological Engineering student. So, full disclaimer, I'm not currently in school right now, but I will be showing you what my routine looked like last semester when courses were online, and what my routine looked like this upcoming semester when I will have the rest of my courses online. I normally wake up around 7 a.m., then make my bed and organize my desk so that my workspace is presentable for all my lectures. The biggest difference this year is that all of our courses are online, which means that I'll be working from home every single day, so I want to make sure that I clean my space to have it nice and tidy and distraction-free. My first class today isn't until 9 a.m., so I like to start off my day with my morning routine followed by some breakfast. I first wash my face, then I apply my skincare, do my makeup, and finally I brush my teeth. Once I head back to my room, I get changed so I'm ready to start my day. So uh, today is Friday, so first I have my EOSC 333 lecture, which is for geomorphology, then I have Civil 311, which is for soil mechanics, then I'm going to take a quick lunch break, then I have my EOSC 350 class, which is geophysics, then I have a lab where I get to play with rocks, so that's a lot of fun. Then I have my econ course, and after that I'm done, and I have dinner, and I will update you guys on the rest of my day. Now that I'm dressed, I'm ready for some breakfast. I was actually going to have some French toast this morning, but all that was left in my fridge were some bagels, so I just ended up having cereal instead. After my breakfast, I'm ready for my first class, which is a class on geomorphology. Basically, it's a class where we discuss why the Earth looks the way it does. I normally have around five or six classes per semester of school, which is a standard course load for undergraduate engineering students. Now that I have a break before my next class, I'll be doing my at-home workout. I normally like to do my more intense workouts in the morning before I have class, but since I was busy filming this video, I didn't get a chance to. It's now lunch, and today I am having dumplings, soup, and a salad. It's super quick to make, and it helps me take a break from my classes. It's also light, so it prevents me from being tired in the afternoon. Sometimes if I have a longer break, I try to go for a walk so I get some fresh air so I feel more ready for my classes. This way, I get a bit of a new start to the day, and I won't fall asleep while listening to my professors. In the afternoon, I have two more classes in an igneous petrology lab, so I'll be note-taking for a while, then looking at some of my rocks from my lab. Instead of just showing you a video of me taking notes, I've decided to show you some of the coolest rocks I've bought or found, and how we test them for strength or other properties. Now that I'm done all my classes for the day, I'll be going out on a short walk to get my blood flowing so I'll be ready to study once I get back home. That was so refreshing and I'm ready to work. I just refilled my water bottle and I'll be working until dinner on my assignment that's due tomorrow. I keep a list of all of my tasks in my bullet journal, which I doodle in whenever I have free time. I set up all of my goals each week using specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and relevant time-bound goals, also known as SMART goals. I'll link a video in the description box below if you're interested in setting up your goals this way as well. Setting up my goals this way has helped me stay on top of my work and keep a mental note of all my deadlines. This is the best way for me to keep myself motivated when I'm especially tired or feeling unproductive. I just came back from going out for dinner, and I feel refreshed enough to start focusing on my courses. I'm going to start studying for soil mechanics since I have a midterm coming up soon. I try and stop working around 9 o'clock every day, so I have enough time to rest before I start classes again the next day. To keep me focused, I normally leave my phone in a different room and use an app to block distractions on my laptop like Instagram or YouTube. On days where I have an especially hard time concentrating, I normally set up a virtual meeting room with my friends, and we study together with our mics muted, 
but I'm feeling okay on my own today. It is now 11 o'clock and I've just finished taking my shower and watching some Netflix and I'm so excited to hop into bed. To make sure that I sleep well, I turn my phone on flight mode and leave it by my desk. Thanks for joining me today in my life as an engineering student. See you soon.